Hey everyone, before this video starts, I just want to show you guys our website, carrysun.com. Um, if you have any problems related to Microsoft, including Camtasia, uh, Veeam, Azure Blob, then you can just head on to carrysun.com and chances are we probably have a solution to your problem over on this website. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, in this Camtasia tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can edit, publish, and record in Camtasia in 60fps. Let's get started. First, you want to open up Camtasia Recorder. And you should see this little toolbar down here. To record in 60fps, all you have to do is go into Tools, Options, Inputs, and Target Capture Frame Rate. When you go in here, it will be at default 30fps. And what you want to do to make it 60 is simply just change it and press OK. Now, you can record at 60fps. Next up, to edit at 60 FPS is pretty simple. Go into uh, Camtasia Studio. And press on new project. Doesn't really matter if you go into an old project or not. And then you go into edit. Preferences. Project. And over here you can see frame rate. To edit at 60fps, just uh, tap on the drag down menu and click 60fps. Now you press OK. And once you restart Camtasia, like so, you will be able to edit in 60fps. How you can tell you're at 60fps, by the way, while you're editing is over here beside the time. If it says 60fps, that means you've done it right and you can move on to the next step. Now to publish in Camtasia at 60fps, go into share, local file. Wait, um, let me just get something to put on here. That. Alright, so now you go to share your local file. And you want to add slash edit a preset. And over here, do MP4 of Smart Player, choose any of these three. And then click on new. Now you can name it what you want. I'm just gonna name it like I already have one of these, so I'm going to say there you go. And over here. Make sure to turn this off. Or else this will not work and you cannot upload it to sites like YouTube and it will just be a web browser file. Next, you want to go to video settings. As you can see here, frame rate, 60. That's pretty much it. You can also edit some of these if you want to, but for this video, I won't. And press next. Finish. And now, as you can see here, the frame rate is now 60 fps and whenever you publish a video it will always be in 60 fps as long as you uh, choose this production anyways to show you an example for the difference between 30 and 60 fps i'll be showing a video on the screen right now to let you see what the difference is anyways I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.